Daniel Radcliffe and Samara Weaving star in Nerve. Nope. Hardcore Henry. Uh, try again. Borderlands. Hmm. One more time. Daniel Radcliffe and Samara Weaving star in Guns Akimbo, a hyper-action comedy that's in limited release and available on demand. A computer programmer by day and internet troll by night finds himself in a fight for his life in a live-action, crowdsourced game of survival. He's trying to survive against a maniac killing machine. Daniel Radcliffe stars as Miles, a fairly meek computer programmer, but when he's behind his anonymous keyboard, he lights people up online as a troll. After a night of drunken trolling, Miles wakes up with guns bolted to his hands and thrown into a live-action game of survival known as Schism. It's a two-player game, and Miles finds himself up against Samara Weaving's character, Nyx, and she's the reigning champion of death. The action in this is crazy. I mean, it's very frenetic, very hyperactive, and some of the camera movements remind me a lot of Upgrade, where a character would fall and the camera would follow that. And it just, it, it's a cool effect, and it works really well, as long as you don't use it too much and you don't continue to copy other movies. The premise of this movie is not unique. It's basically the movie Nerve, which starred Emma Roberts, except in this one, it's notched up to 11. And there's way more violence. Oh, and Nerve has a much better story. Nyx barely has a backstory in this, and Schism just kind of exists. And it is run by some crazy guy who just wants to watch the world burn, except he's really into money and branching out and making this a worldwide phenomenon. Now, this isn't all action. I mean, there are funny moments, too, and some of them were laugh-out-loud funny. And Daniel Radcliffe is easily the best part of this. I mean, you have this mild, meek, everyman type of thing who, yes, okay, sure, behind the keyboard, he's big and bad, and blah, 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 tch, 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 I light you up. But really, in real life, he's just a nobody. I mean, he's a wimp, he's weak, and he's just your everyman thrust into an extraordinary situation, which also happens to be a fight for his life. Now, some of the comedy comes from just this online viewing because the, the characters are followed by drones and by people with cameras, and it's streamed out to everybody to watch. Now, we don't know if are people paying to watch this? Are they betting? What's going on? We don't get any of that in this. So it kind of loses something as why people would want to watch this other than the just deviant behavior and they want to watch somebody die. But Radcliffe gets a lot of funny moments and just that fish out of water, like what the crap's going on? Especially when you have guns bolted to your hands and your fingers are stuck to the trigger also. So you can imagine the physical comedy and the phys physical action that has to go on in this because he has to, well, he has to get himself dressed. He has to be able to open the door. What happens if he has to go to the bathroom? I mean, all of these questions are raised in the film because it's like, what are you going to do? You've got guns and mm, that, you know, you trying to feed yourself, you could lose a nose. Unfortunately, Samara Weaving's character is pretty much one-dimensional and flat. I mean, we do get a tiny bit of why she's doing what she's doing, mm, sort of, but that's about it. There is a moment of kind of redemption in there, but I think it's too little too late. I mean, it just made for a cool action scene. And she plays a great bad guy, or at least killing machine. I mean, she's fully human, so it's not machine, but I mean, you know what I mean. She's just, she's, she's good at what she does. There's apparently some sort of online drama surrounding the director of Guns Akimbo, and honestly, I just don't care. I don't care to look into it, don't care to read about it. So if that's of interest to you, you can go go look it up. Good for you, awesome. If you enjoy that type of thing, me, I just, meh. So there you go but I felt I at least needed to acknowledge it so that I know that there is some kind of drama around it, even though I don't know what the drama is. So that's just kind of pointless, isn't it? This is definitely not going to be for everybody. I mean, if you enjoy hyper-violence and frenetic action, then you can have some fun with this. I mean, the comedy mixed in works for the most part, and the fish out of water, the everyman just thrust into extraordinary situations is a fun concept. The story is just pretty thin, and because we've seen it all before in Nerve, and I think Nerve had a much better story, this one then suffers from just being kind of a weak copycat. In this, I was surprised because for the most part, the graphics, the special effects, they work pretty well. I mean, we get, you know, different drone shots and obviously all of the special effects with just the large amount of people being shot and killed is crazy. So the gun splatter and the, the brain and the blood and everything, all the gore and the guts going, I mean, that works and it feels fairly realistic. But there is one scene that is a chase scene involving a car and a motorcycle that is just 
absolute trash. I mean, they didn't even try to blend it in, making it not green screen looking. It is horrendous. And at that fact, it's almost insulting. Actually, it is insulting that they would put it in there and just expect us to accept that scene as it is and be like, oh, okay. Especially when the rest of the movie did pretty well in the graphics department. Well, I did have fun with this. I do wish that it had a much better story and that Samara Weaving's character had more of a depth to her, that we just got to see more dimension with her. I think that would have added a lot more enjoyment to what I was seeing and made it something that I would really want to be invested in again and again and again. There's no sex, but there is some nudity and then an extreme amount of profanity and violence. I give Guns Akimbo two and a half out of five couches. Are you a fan of hyperactive movies where just there is insane action going on? If you can recommend one, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for catching with me.